G'day fellas and welcome to a casted game. Spawning in on the south side of the map, playing as the Holy Roman Empire, we've got Red. Yes, that is his name. That is his real name. Got an already going for a very early house mining camp on the gold vein. And it looks like it's going to be a double scout opening. This, of course, is the pit. On the other side of the map, playing in the color green as the Ottomans. It's the one, the only, the Wallalo God himself, Salami. And it's great to have him back. Playing as the Ottomans as well as Civilization at the moment, that's probably considered a bit underpowered. It seems like every game that we watch with the Ottomans, they either lose or barely just scrape a win. You never really see them dumps, dumps to people too much. And I guess that's probably something that happens a bit when you've got civilizations that kind of play on the edge and the ottoman definitely feel that way they play on the edge just because of military schools it takes a long time for them to pay off and obviously you know they work out to be about two villages each and if you got three of them or four of them then that that's you know six or eight villages it's not a huge boost but hey it's nice and the longer the game keeps going on missed a little sheep there the longer the game keeps going on then the better it gets for the ottoman player but it's also going to be a double scout opening here for Salami, which is kind of interesting because one of the things we have seen the trend away from is double scout openings. And yet here we have two players, both going double scout, obviously blind because neither of them know that they're going double scout. Now, look at this. Can we just talk about the nicest berry bushes in the entire world? Look at that. Look at that. Look at that right there. Look at these bushes. I, 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 am I the only one that can admire a bush like that? Like we've just got perfect, almost perfect symmetry. I mean, we've we've only got uh, we've only got not uh, what is it? Eight bushes there, not the ninth one, but it's uh, it's still a pretty good looking bush. That's what she said. <laughs> that was terrible. Sorry, sorry, sorry. All right, uh, moving moving forward, moving forward. We take a look down at the base of Red and see what he's up to. Looking at the landmark positioning. You would expect probably right here is going to be his uh, his Arkham Chapel. Hits the gold, hits the berries, also hits the uh, the wood line. But he is gathering. Well, he's going for wood a little bit far away from that that position. So maybe he hasn't worked it out. Maybe he's going to put it like right here or something like that. Maybe down a little bit. Over the other side of the map though, for Salami, we're checking and see what landmark is going to be going for. He's got two options here. This map's actually a pretty good map to trade on. Honestly, I, I feel like people probably haven't realized how good it is to trade on. The trade post is a little bit far away from the edge of the map, but for the most part, it's pretty decent. And he, he does go for the Salt and Honey Trade Network, which makes a lot of sense, in my opinion, here. Uh, if he wants to, he can just run these traders to this corner and then over to here. But it kind of takes a bit of effort. I feel like it's probably just better just running them over here. A little bit bit a little bit less of a reward. And we do see the Arkham going down at the point that we suspected it would be. It's going to be, I'd say, a pretty late Arkham. You know, typically you see, like, your Don Artie's doing 3 minutes 30 on the age up for the landmark. This is going to be, like, a 4 minutes 30 if you're lucky. Probably pushing closer to, like, a 440. So pretty delayed on that one. You see Red bringing back in the sheep now. Ideally, you should have those sheep underneath the Arkham, and that's where he's going for it at the moment. And he's going to need to time it perfectly, though, and make sure that the Arkham actually completes before he's over here. Keep in mind, he doesn't actually have a mill, so he's not going to be able to get those upgrades like your wheelbarrow, your horticulture, not even things like your survival techniques, which are pretty important if you're going to be going on deer early. He's got a nice big patch nearby, and by the same token, so does Salami up to the north. Salt and Honey Trade Network going to be coming in, uh, and we can see that already we've picked up... Uh, never mind. I was going to say already he's gone for uh, Anatolian Hills. No, he hasn't. He's just got that many sheep sitting right next to his town center, just like that. That's how he likes to do it, and I respect that. I'm a man who can respect a lot of sheep. Uh, but behind this, we see Salami probably just massing up uh, gold and wood for a highly likely just a big trade network. That's probably a bit of an early trade boom. And something that we don't see. You know, I, I was thinking about it the other day, and I'm like, okay, what has the Ottomans got going for it? Like, if, if we said, and if we sat down on, you know, uh, in, at the workbench, and we're like, all right, what does the Ottomans have that other civilizations don't that they can use to their, their bonuses? And overwhelmingly the answer are late game things things like military schools uh, which give you free units your uh, your mia which gives you free um free siege these are late game things and i'm like okay what about the early game and then i was like well actually now that you mention it this building here is pretty decent it's you're getting the equivalent of like a two re uh, one relic that's in here maybe not one relic you know like two-thirds of a relic uh, but you're also getting the ability to train more traders from this uh, at an early stage of the game and get a, a guaranteed trickle of resources. And if you only rely on that guaranteed trickle of resources, then you've definitely got something pretty solid for yourself in the early game. 
We'll check back in over on the other side of the map as Red begins with a barracks opening. Interesting. Something that we don't always see coming out of the Holy Roman Empire. Could be men at arms, could be spearmen. Most likely going to be men at arms, though, as we can see he's moving over towards the Arkham Chapel. Not a lot of food here, though. Uh, sitting on, what is this, 1,500? And then, yeah, about just a little bit more than 2,000 food. So all of the food available to the uh, to our, uh, our Ottoman player through the Anatolian Hills, that's all the food that is available uh, for, our, uh, for our Holy Roman Empire player. He's 11 in the chat saying, oh my god, it's Pirashiki. Is Pirashiki back? Yep, it's the real one. It's Pirashiki. Okay, a red. Uh, <laughs> that is the guy that we've got. A barracks now going to be coming down for Salami. And Spearman going to be the the uh, the choice that he's going for. It kind of looks like it might be a castle age behind this. Not 100% sure on how he's playing this. Uh, we did see some stone being gathered earlier, but that was obviously just for the military school. First of the men at arms now going to be coming out. He's got a couple of options with dealing with this. And we see the barracks actually getting cancelled and pulled back a little bit here. So, going to be forced away from that position. Speedman's still going to be the one in queue. We'll right on board, over with Red, and see how he's doing. Is it's going to be a second barracks. So, actually just going to be committing to somewhat of a, a heavy feudal play here. Not something that you typically see. And something that's going to be difficult to deal with as the, uh, as the Ottomans. Now, they've got a couple of cards up their sleeve. Most notably, they've got the ability to call meta drums. Uh, and this, and that, or rather, not meta drums, but they've got the ability to have the meta, uh, I should say, which will give them an extra plus two armor uh, on the melee. So it means that go, they go, uh, there's two less damage that's being done. So you can pick up what plus one for the, the melee and then go up to plus three in, in, the, in the feudal age as well. So not too bad. But now that meta arm's going to start causing havoc. Salami might be in a little bit of trouble here. We see the first villager. Oh, it was a little bit of poor pathing. He manages to pull him through. You can see... Keeps it alive. Second minute arms also going to be coming in. Having a bit of trouble here on this corner. Salami yet to add in any more traders than this. And you can see he's actually going for like a, a, a direct fast castle here. Uh, and I, I say direct. Obviously, it's it's not 100% direct. He's got a, a little bit going for him uh, in, in the way of military and production. And we can see another Spearman going to be joining the queue now. Uh, but uh, look at this. We've actually, There's your answer. We've got field work coming out. Oh, I like this salami. I like this a lot. Very, very nice. We're seeing the first of the Ottoman fast castles coming out. Salami with 16 idle villagers, though. you got to wonder how, you know, is, is it going to be possible for him to hold on? I feel like the imams can probably just do all the healing. The, the healing that comes out from these guys are insane. The amount of healing that they put out. He's got enough gold now to age up. Falls back away from that position. You know, you, you now that I think about it, for a fast castle... Both of the landmarks are really good, but I feel like the food landmark's probably going to be better. Your gold should be pretty easy to, to to guarantee, right? Like, you could probably wall here and then put an outpost. It's going to be tough for the men at arms to do much. And then the food, it just spawns infinite food for you off cooldown all the time. Right? Like, it, to me, that makes sense. Like, obviously, this is objectively better when it comes to your, your resource tally. Oh my god, dude. I, I, I'm, I'm actually loving... Is Ottoman Fast Castle the way? It could be. It could be. Salami going to be definitely trying it now. Men at Arms still being pumped out nonstop. Uh, Blacksmith has been completed. Yet to see marching drills coming through. Going to be going for siege engineering. It's quite heavy on wood. We can see nine villagers on wood now. A couple of them being pulled over towards gold. Siege engineering's through. Istanbul Imperial Palace going to be coming down on the front line. Not something that we typically see. Drop down the blacksmith as well. Imperial Istanbul Imperial Palace also going to be doubling up the experience points that go towards Vizier. Vizier points. Uh, I, I actually have to learn how to pronounce that. Salami really committing to this though. The men at arms could potentially deny it. You can see he wants to. Well, this isn't... I, I don't like this position for Salami. He's going to go for a batting ram. I, I, I would honestly just commit to the villagers here. Just go in. Just try and kill the villagers. Take, cop the damage. Oh, you don't have plus one though, do you? You don't have plus one. You, you're probably going to melt to the TC. Yeah, it's a bit hard then. If you had plus one a little bit earlier instead of siege engineering, I feel like it would have been fine. So Salami going to be able to get up to the castle age. But I think the question is, you know, what does he look to do once he's there? Because you've got a couple of options. Number one is knights. I think that's definitely going to be the big play. Number two is your own men at arms. Number three, probably more crossbow orientated. You can see we've got a little bit of a secret early men at arms chilling out for the moment. Istanbul Imperial Palace is up, ready, providing that big uh, area of effect. It means he's going to be able to pull out maybe some uh, some more interesting of the technologies here. You can see that the uh, blacksmith actually going to be going down, so he's going to be losing out that production bonus and did actually have it on the on the uh, on the military school. Now we see that upgrade coming through. 
So I expect he'll probably go into military campus or siege crews. Obviously not going to be going into trade bags. Anatolian Hills. Interesting. I did not expect that. Uh, this is going to delay him getting towards the third tier and then potentially unlocking Genesary Combat, which could help him out a little bit here in this situation. Crossbows coming through. We'll take a look and see what else he's got going, but at the moment, it's not looking good for Salami. I can say that much. Red doing very, very well. No second TC added in. Just really looking to play it out in the Feudal Age. Going heavy, just full men at arms. And now on the defensive, has picked up that plus one ranged armor. He's going to be able to push through and begins working on that barracks. The barracks has got 20 seconds until veterancy comes through, but unfortunately not going to have 20 seconds to research it. And the veterancy goes away. Now that Istanbul Imperial Palace is going to be the next one up. Salami rushing up a barracks here. You know, I'd, I'd love to have seen an archery range here instead of a barracks. And just a couple of crossbows coming out. Your enemy is only making men at arms at this point. So to me, it feels crazy not to be going for crossbows. Salami going to be trying to just get veteran spear upgrade. Really, really wants to hit this veteran spear timing. Take a look on the south side of the map. More villagers out moving about. Boar chilling out for the moment. Men at arms just looking to try and find some extra villagers. He thinks there might be some shenanigans going on around the map somewhere. So instead of getting a scout out to do his, his bidding, it's the men at arms that are going to do it instead. Two more battering ramps coming in. Salami. Trouble in paradise right now. Trouble in the deli. Spearmen managed to chase those men at arms away, but do end up giving up chase. And we do see the Istanbul Imperial Palace going to be falling. Looks like it's going to be another early good game here for our Ottoman player. Red looking to try and take out Salami. He's going to be moving on to the, the military school. And then potentially onto the town center as well. More men at arms coming out. Where are the crossbows? The first one is finally out. Second one in queue. Third one already coming through. Needs to focus down these houses. Prevent that uh, th those extra units from coming out. I'd love to see a second, uh, a second archery range coming down here for Salami. He's having a tough time. You can see he's got barely anything in the base. 40 villagers at the moment. That's, that's a pretty decent number of villagers. Crossbows are out. He's going to look to try and kite them. But keep in mind, he's got those military drummers or military, military leggings, I guess they're called. Villagers thinking about going for the battering rams. Got to be careful here. Left alone, and now the men at arms might need to turn their attention towards those villagers. First battering ram going to be going down. Salami going to be able to pick it up. We're going to enter into the cinematic mode. As all of a sudden, Salami looks to commit here as the spearmen do a bit of a ring around the rosy, and at the same time, the men at arms are happy to take it. Villagers continuing following the battering rams across the map, forcing them back. And at the same time, we finally have the imams making their way up towards the front, looking to heal it up, and looking to heal it up. Look at the heels going through. Men at arms not standing a chance. More crossbows and Salami looking like he might actually hold. Villagers going to be forced away from that position. No lands connects because there's no age three. And Salami, oh, he's looking in a bit of a, a tough spot now. All of a sudden, the men at arms gonna be able to hold as a single man at arms against the world the village is also getting repaired look at the heels coming out right now this could be it is this the way that you play the ottomans finally we see how after after the 17 buildings have been killed is this it is the final defense coming through for salami that is the question and uh i, I think the answer is definitely yes he manages to hold but at what cost he's lost so much i just i just wish we'd seen an archery range sooner you know, the first men at arms I saw coming in, I'd be like, all right, archery range, just get ready for that castle age. Not Salami, though. He, he likes to walk his long way around the deli aisle before he gets to the cheese. That is for sure. We'll ride on board now with his opponent, Red, see what he's up to. So it looks like he's picked up quite a few upgrades. We've got horticulture coming through, double broadaxe, as well as specialized pick. All of your tier one economic upgrades coming through. He's already picked up the wheelbarrow. So everything going well for him at the moment back at home. Village account at 43, Salami at 45. And he did, I suspect, lose a couple in there while taking out the battering ram. So doing a decent job to get ahead of the uh, get ahead of the curve. Now going to be moving out towards that mill. One of the... the I, you know, for me, it would be really tough playing the way that Salami's playing right now because you go from having a really safe food source to having no safe food at all. Imam's now bringing back the relics. I'm curious if this... Yeah, okay, so it actually gives them a, an enhancement. Heals nearby allies in an area for one health every second. I wonder if it's every single Imam that gets this. Because if it does, it might actually be legit. Crossbow's now going to be moving out. Looking to pick off some of the early men at arms. Keep in mind, he's still in the, the uh, feudal age. Yet to make it up to the castle age. And look at this. Moving forward with the relics. Don't you dare. Don't you dare do what I know you... Oh, if he, oh my god. Oh, he could get him in a really tough position. No, don't go to the wood line. If he walls him in right now, this could be really bad. Okay, all right. Red going to be able to make it through to the other side. Salami can 100% wedge him in here and force him into a wall -a -lol. Let's see if he's going to be able to do it. 
the Wallalol continuing. He's trying to chase him away. He wants to try and goad him into this Wallalol, but not going to have any success. Drops the two relics off. Matter Arms forced to run away from those crossbow numbers. They're too damn high. Too damn good. And we'll take a look back over on the other side of the map and see how Red is doing. As it's going to be the Regnant's Cathedral. And this is a huge mistake coming out from Red. Why is this a huge mistake? Because Red already saw the two relics getting picked up here. And he knows that the Imams are now going to be moving out onto the map to pick up more relics. So it's highly likely that the that only one relic is going to be in the pocket uh, of... Uh, one relic is only going to be in the pocket for Red. Which means a, a total of 200 gold a minute. Well, sorry, 160 gold a minute because it's been changed now. And you can see he doesn't actually have a prelate in position to, to pick up this this uh, this relic. And it is actually getting taken. Imam moving out here. He's got another Imam coming out across this position. He did actually train a third Imam. Have they all got field work? Let's double check. Field work, field work, and field work. Oh my lord, dude. You get 10 of these bad boys out. Oh, nothing's ever dying. Look at this. T takes the relic, walks to the edge of the map, and then walks along. Relic picked up. All five relics are taken. You've gone for a Regnitz, and you've lost every single relic. Massive mistake coming out. Salami pulling a pretty big one over the head of Red right here. Right on board with Salami and see how he's doing as the Blacksmith, as well as Istanbul Imperial Palace finally being repaired. Let's get a nice little look at this landmark and see what it really looks like. Let's take these bad boys off. Doesn't look that special, does it? Maybe this angle looks kind of cool. What do we got going on down here? Yo, what's happening over here? Crossbows and men at arms moving across the map. Feels like a, a game out of uh, out of like a couple of patches. Going to, emergency repair is going to come through. Let's see. Ideally, Salami should be moving on to the next one, and he, indeed he does. Crossbows looking good. Firing down. And do we have a potential Imperial Age coming through here? It doesn't seem like it. Just going to be going into crossbows and men at arms himself. Feels bad, man, though. You got no relics. All relics taken away. And Salami loves to play these relic heist civilizations. These civs that focus on stealing the relics, securing the relics. And they're gonna be, it's going to be no different here with the Ottomans. As he pulls the fourth one back and the fifth one back. Might have a little bit of trouble out here, though. Is he healing himself? Are you healing yourself? Look at that. You're not healing yourself. All right. And luckily, he makes it the, the right way around the stone outcropping. That could have gone either way. Fortunately, he should be okay from these men at arms. You can see the... Look at this. Oh, look at that. That's 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 absolute hacks right there. Crossbows as well as men at arms chasing it through. Men at arm numbers up to 17. Hefty amount. Takes out a villager, continues pushing through. Finds the regnets. Sees it, probably laughs. Takes out two more villagers. Three more villagers. Don't do it, Salami. He's looking for the fourth one. Men at arms just going to get taken out. He's just committing to the villagers here. He knows his enemies behind economically. 58 villagers for Salami, 46 for Red. So now Salami's in a really decent position. There's a bit of a comeback that's coming right now. It feels like it, doesn't it? Military school number three going to be coming down here. We'll ride on board with Salami and see whether he's picked up military campuses. Indeed, he has picked up military campuses, which means a fourth military school is going to be going down, and he looks to secure that one. These are all equivalent to about two villagers at the moment, if I remember correctly, uh, under the blacksmith. Still yet to pick up any of those T1 upgrades. We see finally Wheelbarrow coming through, followed by Horticulture. And a blacksmith down to the south side to begin extending out that uh, that influence area. And now once again, we've got a re-up with more battering rams coming out for red. Salami looking good though. He's managed to stabilize pretty well here. Not only does he have that villager lead, but he's also got the relic lead as well. Now, interestingly, do we have those? Yeah, there they are. Relics have been all picked up. So he's got 500 gold a minute. Well, it's not 500 gold a minute. I do take that back. It's 160 gold a minute there, and then 240 in this one. Or 239, as it is sometimes known. You can see it just thinking about moving over to 239. Sacred Sites now being capped, or at least they were for a split second. I'm not sure what happened there. Oh, it might, might have been in the center. There we go. Prelate in the center. And now the battering rams make their way through. A whole bunch of crossbows here, just a handful of pikes and or rather spears and uh, men at arms. Look at the imam numbers now. Imam's looking to repair this out. Let's see how much damage they're able to do. Or how, rather, how much uh, damage they're able to repair. Completely getting sliced up on the front side. For the moment, not a, not a whole lot of healing. Now the crossbow's going to have to fall back away from this position. Men at arms trying their best to overwhelm. And you can see the Imam's, unfortunately, just not going to really make a difference here. And it starts, starts to question whether it's actually going to be worth it on the upgrade. And now Salami not looking the best either. Battering Rem's going to be able to take out the military school. Salami going to be falling back underneath the town center. 
He's got more and more crossbows slowly and steadily coming out, but this, at the same time, his enemy, the Holy Roman Empire, is cleaning up villages. Salami finally realizes, looks like a handful have gone down, and he's managed to kite his way back towards that, uh, that, what's it called? The Sultan Hani Trade Network. I gotta learn these names. I gotta learn these names. I gotta do, I got picture, what's it called? Like, recall cards or something to learn all these names. But now we've got uh, Janissaries popping out from the town center. Look at this. Emergency Janissaries, the Janissary company, Minutemen in Age of Empires 4. It is happening. They get called. They look to try and save the day, but they just get picked apart by the crossbows. Crossbows doing extra damage to Janissaries. Janissaries taking an extra 50% damage against ranged units. Now, things managing once again to stabilize for Salami. He's dropping down a whole bunch more barracks, and he's just he's going full men at arms at this point. I'm, I'm loving the Janissaries, though. The Janissaries looking awesome. 16 damage on those French guns. Villagers getting found by the Men at Arms. Gonna have to run away. There is a boar there. You could always give it a little bit of a tag if you wanted to play with it. Now Salami still holding on. It's, it's not looking good for Salami, though, is it? I, the longer this game goes on, I feel like the worse it's getting for Salami. He's just getting picked apart. Even though he's lost out on the... Or even though he's won over on the relics, even though he's won over on a lot of li little different things. Uh, you know, his enemy taking the Regnitz Cathedral when he clearly shouldn't have. Still, how have you got a, a 2,000 gold floated with no relics? If you had five relics, I'd be like, yeah, of course, that's fine. You've got 2,000 gold with no relics. I, I, I'm not even mad. I'm, I'm impressed. How, how did you get that much gold floated with no relics? Men at arms together with the crossbows now moving out. Janissaries in the back. Villagers pushing forward. It might be a bit of a keep drop that we've got. Salami going to be going for his world painted. No, 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 don't do it. <gasps> The, oh my god, the battering ram could have 100% killed... Oh, no, it couldn't have. 200 damage. Under under attack or under uh, construction, 250 on a good day, maybe? Yeah, it's nothing special. Y you could do it in, in AoE 2. I've seen it happen in AoE 2 with Liticor. I was casting a game with Liticor. It was a team game, a 2v2, and it happened. Literally, someone dropped a keep or a castle, and someone's ram was right next to it. Boom, instantly killed it. So sad, dude. Doesn't happen today, though. Has he rebuilt the military schools? Let's take a look. He's got three over here. It doesn't look like it. Still two military schools missing for the moment. Or rather one missing for the moment. Keep his up on the central sacred site. Continuing to funnel out units for the most part. Salami at the moment sitting on 58 economic units, 33 military against 58 and 24. So the tides have somewhat turned. But we do see the first of the mangonels out now. So you could just go from here. You could just go men at arms with heavy maces and mangonels. And I don't think you can lose. So he's got the maces. He's got the mangonel. He's got a treb now coming out. Probably the wise thing. We do have the imams now looking to capture this central sacred site. Crossbowmen standing strong. Men at arms making their way back. And Salami going to be under attack once again. Village account starting to dwindle down slowly but steadily. Crossbows, however, going to be saying, G'day, mate. How you doing? Unfortunately, not paying attention. Red going to have to fall back. He loses out one, two... It's just two men at arms for now. Three. There's the third one. Actually, that's a deer carcass, Drongo. Fourth one goes down. Oh, he's going to lose all of those. Still yet to move these ones. Trebuchet now firing down. Double trebuchets out. Needs to get another siege workshop back here. Maybe even further back. Maybe back here. Oh, you can emergency repair this. Quickly. Houses, houses. Emergency repair. Emergency repair. It's not in the network, though. The consequence of not having things in your network is that they die. Siege Workshop, unfortunately, going to be going down here. Not able to mer emergency repair. And we know that he knows how to emergency repair. We saw him do it earlier down here on these houses. Men at Arms cleans up the Men at Arms. Sacred Site turned over towards Salami. He could look to pick up the other two on the outside of the map now. He's pushing through the middle. He's managed to stabilize pretty impressively. It's an impressive comeback, honestly. I'm... I got to say, man, Salami, he knows what he's doing. He's the kind of guy who knows what is up. Still got plenty of deer out here as well. Trab's looking decent. Mangadel moving out as well. Both players actually going into Mangadel's. Oh no. Oh no. Salami going to do it. Don't do it to him, Salami. Salami sees it. Salami goes. Salami goes. Oh, it's massive damage. Oh my god. That's so much freaking damage. Mangadel isn't even going to matter here because the Imams are going to be able to heal up all the damage. And now the, the, the mango just keeps firing off seconds before disaster. The Treb gets a big shot down, but look at the Imams healing up. Look at the Imams healing up. It's the AoE healing. They just raise your... Raise your what? And look at them healing. Everything. It doesn't matter. You can tank the mango shots. It's actually busted. It's so good. Fieldwork. 
and he's able to push it back. He doesn't even care about the Mangonels. The field work is too damn strong. They're all back up to full health. Takes out all the crossbows. Trebuchet, Mangonel continue pushing up. Treb now going to be able to take down this, the, the production. And good game gets called. Salami able to take back this game in an incredible turnaround. Well played, Salami. Fellas, if you haven't seen Salami before, well, you've either, you're either a vegetarian or you haven't been on Twitch. Go check him out. I'm going to leave a link in the description to where you can catch his content. He's an amazing creator, an amazing player, a great friend, and a great entertainer. You guys are going to love him.